Hey dolls, so just really quickly, I wanted to come and give y'all a natural hair update. I also decided to style my hair with y'all and also show you how I went ahead and trimmed my ends. So if y'all want to see my natural hair, I'm sorry, I'm still in my PJs, no makeup, whatever, but I went ahead and did my trim because I did straighten my hair yesterday. Um, the style that I'm going to be doing... I need my hair to be straight, plus I haven't straightened it in a while, and I knew I needed to trim my hair. So I decided to put some curls in it today, do my trim, did my baby hairs, whatever, and I think it turned out real cute. I don't know how long these curls going to last because I don't know, but yeah, I think it turned out good. So if y'all want to see my hair, how it looks initially after it's been straight, um, before I cut it and see me cut it and style it and everything like that, then keep on watching. Um, and in the end, I will talk about like, you know, maintenance for my hair and what I want to do as far as my routine and everything like that. So stay tuned. Okay, doll, so I decided to do a quick voiceover for y'all so it wouldn't just be music playing. So you can see here, I have wrapped my hair up. So I flat iron my hair wrapped it and then this is the next day when I decided to go in and go ahead and do my trim and style the hair. So this is how my hair looked initially before the trim and you can see how um, you know how the length of my hair is and everything and where it falls before I actually go in and trim off those dead ends. I know a lot of y'all always be like no don't cut it leave it but I, those ends had to go like you could definitely see the difference of where the ends start to kind of get more thin and that is the area that you want to go in and cut off so here I decided to go in and kind of just split my hair in different areas so you can see that it is a scalp okay this is not any tracks added or clip-ins or anything of the sorts this is my natural hair growing from my scalp so yes this is how the hair looks it looks really healthy and good I did a really good deep condition and everything before I went in and straightened my hair so you can see here I'm gonna start going in to do my own trim um, if you are scared and you don't have experience cutting hair in general, wigs or anything, then I wouldn't suggest that you cut your own natural hair. But I cut wigs all the time, so I pretty much know, you know, what works and I know how to dust my own ends and give myself a trim. I grew up in the shop, so that's probably why my knowledge of hair is the way that it is because... I grew up in the shop with my mom, I mean, not my mom, my aunts and my uncle doing hair. So I've always been like, they used to call me a shop baby. So yes, I'm going to just dust my own ends. I didn't feel like getting dressed and going to let my aunt give me a trim. So I was like, whatever, I'm just going to do it myself at home because I could do this. You just need you some good, nice, sharp shears. Do not use kitchen scissors or anything of the sorts. Take your time trim it and you can see here I felt like one side was giving a little bit longer so I just go in and dust it a little bit more to kind of even it off there are some pieces that's kind of giving a layered vibe which my hair was not layered but sometimes the front you know can grow different rates than the back and stuff so I just decided to do a little bit of face framing I just do a part straight down the middle and then I go in and cut it going in a diagonal um, and you want to kind of ease up on the scissors don't just do like a straight cut and you know press down into the scissors completely y'all have seen me do layers a million times so I just did a little you know face framing in the front just to clean that area up as well so I probably still have a little bit of ends that could be taken off but I just did a dusting the hair looks really good and healthy so that's what I wanted. You definitely want to do this for sure if you want to just wear your hair straight because it's really going to look bad. Um, but since I am putting curls in the hair, I could have kind of gotten away with not dusting my ends. But I needed a trim, so I went in and did that for myself. So now you can see I am taking my curling iron and putting some curls in my hair. And I think I wore my hair straight for like two weeks and it lasted pretty good up until... Um, 
the last day when I was outside, it was super humid. It was already time to wash my hair and it started to, you know, fuzz up and everything. So it definitely lasted a good two weeks. Um, and I eventually, like I did some U-part wigs. And then I also, after the U-part wigs, I wore my hair back down, but I just did it, um, in a ponytail because I also did a weave ponytail. So I had this hair, you know, my hair out for a good two weeks or so. So yeah, this is how it looks. It might have been three weeks. I don't know. I think it was two weeks though. So this is how it looks with one side straightened and one side curled. And then I did do my baby hairs and I'm just going to kind of shake the curls loose. If you want your curls to last longer, definitely curl them with the flat iron. Um, because once all of my curls were gone, I did well, before they were gone, I did flexi rod them. Um, and then I also, whenever I wore it in a ponytail, I did kind of use the flat iron to put some curls into my hair in my ponytail. Um, and that was really cute as well. So yeah, this is all I did to, you know, revive my hair and give it a nice trim and everything. So stay tuned for the outro where I talk about more hair maintenance and everything like, you know, what's going on with my hair and what I want to do with it so yeah it turned out really pretty i definitely want to straighten my hair again but i know i probably should wait a little bit but it was so cute so i'm definitely probably going to straighten again this summer but yeah okay doll so this is the completed look i think it looks nice my hair definitely looks more full when i put some curls in it versus when it's just straight but i do have very fine hair in general that's just how my hair is this is how my hair was with the relaxer if y'all have been here for a long time then you will know this is how my hair looks when I had it relaxed so it really doesn't change for some people who may think that your hair gets so much thicker when you go natural it's just looks thicker in its curly state so if you already have really fine hair more than likely your hair is still going to be fine if you go natural and then you straighten it you will see it looks similar to when you have a relaxer if you know what i'm saying so yeah this is how my hair looks as far as for my journey i definitely have some thinning like kind of behind the hairline it's definitely not my edges um but it's some thinning behind the hairline and it's more so from my protective styling and like whenever I wear my wigs I do two ponytails and then I braid my hair on the ends um whenever I just took my hair down I waited kind of a while to wash my hair and I had just been applying like wigs 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 and I hadn't like had time to manage my own natural hair and my hair was super matted and it was like behind the hairline so I feel like that kind of has attributed to some breakage and hair loss in that area so i definitely need to take better care of my hair my hair is still growing um but i hadn't trimmed my hair in a while i wanted to go get my hair professionally trimmed like go to my aunt and let her trim it real good but i feel like i did pretty good dusting off those ends um and i'm definitely going to start trimming my hair more frequently um you know every few months or so um, and definitely more so a couple of times of ye a year because I really haven't been doing that. My hair has only been getting trimmed like maybe once a year and sometimes less than that. Um, so yeah, I need to definitely start keeping up on my trims because if your hair is growing and the ends are already like not looking good, it's going to be just kind of like your hair is growing, but you're going to have to end up cutting off all those ends anyway. I'm totally not mad at the length of my hair, even though I have cut it, um, because it does still fall, you know, pretty nice to say that this is hair growth plus a trim. Um, so yeah, and also I started taking my vitamins again, so I'm definitely getting on the journey to having my natural hair be more healthy, even though I wear wigs and protective styles all the time. I also recently bought me a hooded dryer. I thought I had one before. I don't know if I borrowed my mom's or what, but I could have swore that I had one at some point. So yeah, I bought me a hooded dryer. So now I can definitely do, you know, deep conditions that really penetrate my hair and stuff like that because the conditioner just sitting on leaving it on for a while without heat going directly you know into my hair it was not 
penetrating my hair the way that I needed it to. So I definitely suggest getting a hooded dryer for that. Um, and I don't like the bonnet ones that you use with your blow dryer. I had one of those before and it was just not it. So I bought a hooded dryer and I'm also bought some products for my natural hair because I do want to also start to do like twist outs and stuff like that so I can you know start to wear my hair out because I feel like my hair also needs to breathe as well in a protective style not just always stuffed underneath a wig and a wig cap and all of that so I'm definitely going to be doing you know more so kind of like some natural hair videos coming up but I couldn't pass this moment up to do a natural hair update with y'all because y'all always ask for it so yeah and I'm sorry my face kind of breaking out your girl on her friend right now you know what I'm saying but yeah I definitely couldn't pass this moment up to show y'all my hair and how it looks and I feel like it still looks good it looks healthy and I also want to incorporate doing um some color on my hair like a rinse not permanent color definitely don't want any highlights or anything like that that's going to you know manipulate my hair but your girl is getting older so I do be having me a few grays that be popping up so I definitely want to get like I don't know if I want to do like jet black um I'll probably start off with like a dark brown because that's what color my hair is um and see how I like that you know as far as covering up those little sporadic grays that I have and they always like to come right in the front in my edges like girl you can be anywhere else but why would you go right in my edges so yeah I'm probably gonna start doing some colors on my hair not colors but I'll do probably a dark brown and then see how that looks and if I want to I may go jet black because I have did that before and jet black really makes your hair look really healthy the only thing about that is whenever i do like ponytails and different stuff like that i will have to dye my weave um because most weave comes in the color that my natural hair is so that's always been a plus for me um but yeah so this is how my hair looks i feel like it looks good i'm sorry i didn't get dressed to do this video with y'all i don't know how long these curls are going to last because i can't remember if whenever I have straightened my hair before I really try to do curls or if the curls just fail or whatnot but yeah so that pretty much concludes this update if y'all have specific questions for me that I did not answer leave those below also I did want to include what um, flat iron I did use for my silk press or flat iron this is the one and only um, flat iron and this is by the Oregon it's like the Oregon Oil, the, the same company that puts out the Oregon Oil. So it says Oregon Heat one and only on it. Um, and this is like the one inch size. I do have my babyless flat iron and stuff like that too. But for my natural hair, I feel like that flat iron definitely gives me heat damage. Maybe if I turned it down. But this one, I know I didn't get heat damage with it before. And this is what my aunt used. I don't know if she still uses this, but... She's a professional and she used this before when I had her to um, flat iron my hair and I didn't have any heat damage. So I had picked up one for myself quite a while ago. So that is what I use. Um, and you can turn it all the way up, which is to 30, but I kind of left it in between 25 and 30. Um, so it still was turned up pretty good. And I just did one pass kind of slow not too slow um and then of course today i did go back in and curl my hair and i just used you know like a regular curling iron for that um but yeah so that's pretty much it and um as far as the products that i used i used a lot of chi products so we will see if my hair frizzes up or not or i will see because i don't know if i'm gonna come back and update y'all but but yeah so that's what i did so that's pretty much it if you have questions leave them down below don't forget to like comment subscribe shake your hair flat iron it and give yourself a nice trim girl okay, okay.